Hello and welcome to the Global Stampin' Video Hop for January. Um, I'm very excited to be with you this month and we are going to be doing videos that all relate to um, both our celebration and our fabulous mini catalogue, which you can see right here. Okay, so um, you will find that at the moment celebration is running until the end of February um, and this is different in every market but if you place a qualifying order then you get to pick something out of here for free okay and there's a whole bunch of beautiful things that you can pick beautiful papers fantastic stamp sets um, all sorts of stuff and I'm going to be using a combination of celebration and mini catalog items today now one of the questions I get asked a lot is do I have to order out of the mini catalog catalog to qualify for celebration the answer is no you can order any out of any catalog you can order online but every order over the qualifying amount in Australia that amount is $90 but in different markets it's a different amount depending on where you are so if you're not in Australia that's uh, going to be a different amount in your area of the world and uh, you can check with your demonstrator as to how much that might be all right, so um, this month's theme is a mashup of mini catalog and celebration items. So I'm going to be making a fairly simple card today, a very simple card actually, um, which uses both mini and celebration items. So let's have a quick little look at what those are. I'm going to be using the Dandy Designs paper, which is here at the back of the celebration book. This is actually a, a level two set, which means it's a higher qualifying amount to get this one because it's a substantial pack of paper. Uh, it's 12 by 12 paper and there are 48 sheets of paper so you can see i'm going to show you bring mine in this um yeah, mine's all chopped up and in, in lots of pieces because i've been using it like crazy i absolutely love this paper lots and lots of colors lots and lots of different designs and so so useful okay and because it's 48 sheets um you're unlikely to run out for a really long time we love that so you've got mango melody in there petal pink We've got Calypso Coral, which is what this is. Uh, we have Barmy Blue, beautiful here. And we have uh, Coastal Cabana, which is the aqua kind of a blue. Uh, we have Fresh Freesia, which is the, the mauve purpley color. Lots and lots of colors in here. Granny Apple Green is in there too. So lots and lots of colors, all right? Uh, and I love that all of the colors kind of are mashed up together, but they all look fabulous. Beautiful paper. All right, so I'm going to be using um, some pieces of paper from this today, and I'll get to that in a second. The other items that I wanted to use today, I wanted to use, because I haven't played with it nearly enough, we have a new set of alphabet dies called Alphabet a la Mode. Um, I don't know whether you've ever noticed, but when you go looking in our... Men in our um, index at the end everything is in alphabetical order these days which is fabulous all right so the alphabet a la mode are dies and they're here okay in australia these are 74 dollars uh not sure what they might be where you are but that's how much they cost here nearly everything is more expensive here <laughs> um fun 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 but that's okay it's just you know that's how it works whoops i meant to look up the page number when i looked at those so um they're on page 61 Let's have a quick look at them here they are okay there are 52 dies in this set okay which is substantial and you're probably thinking hmm that's more than 26 letters that are in the alphabet that's because there's not just uh 26 letters they've given us double ups of letters that are like really common letters like there are two a's two e's uh two l's two t's two s's that kind of thing um and then there's also um a couple of specialty letters so you know there's an ampersand for example uh this so there's a few symbols and there's there's also um numbers as well so really really useful set if you're a scrapbooker you're going to love this set um it, it's a thinner um alphabet than i've seen in the past from you know from stampin up so something a little different really really nice now the other thing i'm going to be using today is the something fancy dies all right so they're down here at the front almost there they're these dies here i don't think you can see them you can see them better on page uh what page page 15 okay so the the something fancy dies i'm going to use one of these labels the largest of this kind of rectangular label here it is here Okay, going to be using that um, and we're going to put our letters onto that and I'm going to be using this beautiful pool party ribbon too. So a few items that I'm using from each catalogue, both the celebration and the mini catalogue. 
Okay, so first of all, first off, we've got a piece of basic white thick cardstock. I've cut my uh, sheet of cardstock in half and then folded it in half again to make my card base. And I'm going to start with that. I've cut some of the sheets of the Dandy Designs paper that I just showed you into strips. Now the strips are roughly approximately two centimeters wide by nine centimeters long. Or if you are in the US and use or Canada and using uh, imperial measurements, it's just slightly more than three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch would be fine. Um, and the length is three and a half inches. Okay, so just to give you an idea. So I'm going to lay these out um, and I may decide to change the colors as I go through. I'm focusing on the blues and also the aquas. So blue and kind of, so we've got Bami Blue and Coastal Cabana kind of starring together in this, in this paper. So I'm just going to lay my strips down I'm going to lay them down in kind of a haphazard method uh, fashion you know I'm not I'm not going to um, try and keep them straight if you do want them straight and or having a little bit of a you know a space in between each one that would be fine but I'm not doing that today so totally up to you and I'm using the fronts and the backs of a couple of the different sheets this one is going to be there's going to be two of this one I think I like the coastal cabana one showing up again just kind of like that so I'm now going to go ahead and stick these down so that'll just take a moment Now, normally if I was trying to arrange these pieces so they're even, like all spaced together, I would suggest starting in the middle or the outside, out, doing one in the middle, doing the outside ones and then working back in so you don't run out of room. But when you're doing them haphazard like this, it doesn't matter as much because you can kind of play around with the spacing as you go. It doesn't really matter. Let's pop that one down there. And this one is the dotty, the dotty ones. I like the dots. The dots are fun. And so even though we didn't start at the ends or in the middle, it doesn't matter too much because we have that, um, you know, we can kind of work with the spacing as we go. All right, I'm happy with that. That's how that's going to be. Now I've got this um, piece from the Something Fancy Dies. Let me show it to you. These are the Something Fancy Dies. I'm just going to open them up. They've fallen around in there a little bit. But these are really nice. There's kind of some that um, are like tags. And then you've actually got these little bits that can cut a hole in your tag. You've got a hexagon there. You've got some of these rectangles with the curvy corners. And a couple of label kind of shapes. And just a banner here. I'm using the largest of the rectangles and I have already, just to save time, I've cut that out in advance as you saw before. Here it is. Right, and I'm going to be putting my, um, my letters onto this. Now, here's a couple of tips when you're doing the letters. First of all, if you want to, you can um, just glue these down. So for example, just to show you, if I wanted to pop these down, I've got some here, some I prepared earlier. I could pop a little bit of Tombow onto the back of that with my fine tip of the Tombow and start putting my hello down here, okay? Because this is where it's going to go. But when you're working with um, thin dies like this, a top tip is to try and use the adhesive sheets that we have. Now, adhesive sheets come in packs of 12 sheets and they are 6 inches by 12 inches long, okay? So you get quite a lot. You don't need to use very much at a time. I'm just going to pull one out here and turn it over. Um, you might be able to see, or actually probably can't see. Let me bring it up for you. On the reverse side of this is like there are breaks in the adhesive into the sheets so that you can pull off the backs easily. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, really, really cool. I love these. I think they're fantastic. So let me just cut a piece because I'm not going to use the whole sheet. Move this out of the way. And this. And let's bring this in so that we are 
I'm just going to do, uh, it doesn't have to be very tall, a couple of inches is plenty because the, the letters that we're using are only around about, um, about an inch and a half. I did measure them. They're around an inch and a half tall or uh, four centimeters. So a little bit over, yeah, about an inch and a half. Four centimeters is a tiny bit taller, but, um, but yeah, they're, they're a good size. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the backs off here. I'm gonna take two bits off, actually that's gonna be enough. And I'm going to put this straight down onto my cardstock that I am cutting, right? And I'm actually going to cut that off so it's the same size as the cardstock, just so I don't end up with sticky bits everywhere. All right, so this is down now. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to put my, um, my letters straight onto this, okay? I'm using the Blue Boho Mini Machine. If you haven't seen this, this is a special offer just open for the month of January, the months of January and February as a celebration freebie. So I'm going to put down my first plate and then my plate number two, which is my first clear plate. Then I'm going to put these guys on. Like I said, I should I should have just rearranged I should have arranged them straight onto my machine. Silly me. Okay, let's do that. And the H. Pretty happy with that. That's not bad. Not, not that this really means. What really matters? What really matters is that we cut the letters out. And I'm going. I'm about to get because I've got a bit of sticky on my fingers. It's a very tricky thing to do. So I might get tired of doing this in a second. But anyway, let's just let's just say that's good enough. <laughs> And I'm going to run this through. It's a great little machine. This is um, one of the options. There are three options to join before the end of February. And this is one of them. Okay, so um, to get that, you would spend $210. And you would get not only the mini machine in either white or blue, you get to choose. But you also get $315 worth of products. Or if you don't want a mini machine, you can just spend $169 in, in Australia and you'll get $315 worth of products. All right, so I'm going to take this off now. Whoop, that one came off. Came out. All right, so they should come out pretty easy. There's our H, our E, the L's. Now, if you do have any leave behind... Um, the pieces what you would do is you would get a pokey tool that's on the end of your take your pick tool and just push through that hole there and then it slips straight out here's our L There we go, there they all are. And I'll put my letters carefully to one side or straight back in, if you're smart, straight back into the, into the pack. <laughs> all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop my take your pick tool underneath. All right, so this comes straight off. Can you see how it's peeling off now? And because it's all sticky, it's going to go straight on and hold beautifully. Now, I'm just putting it on really lightly in case I need to position it again. Um, I probably should have put the L on first. The L is the good one. And if you want to um, put your take your pick tool into the corner there, you'll find it easier to separate the back. Now, if you don't like the idea of doing this, you can just use Tombow. But I actually like that the fact that you get a full
a full, um, the whole thing is sticky rather than just, I'm just going to tap it on lightly. Some sort of pokey tool is an imperative piece of equipment. There we go. Let's pop that here. I'm just going to lift my H up and move it ever so slightly. They're kind of all touching at the bottom and that's how I want them. Like this. Pop it into the corner there. You may find it easier on the edges, the ends, or the corners. And once you lift it, it's really easy to peel the whole thing off. And the O doesn't have any corners, but it does have an edge. And it's pretty easy to get that one off. Some letters are easier than others. I'm going to have that going over that end right there like that. And now I have a cute little hello. Um, if you want to, before you do this, you could um, use a blending brush and add a bit of colour. Or you can add a bit of colour after, like I'm doing right now. It doesn't really matter because I'm using Cool Party, which is like a light, a light aqua kind of a colour. The Bermuda Bay is kind of the darker aqua colour. And this is going to go here in the centre of my my letters. So I'm just going to add dimensionals in the four corners here. Alright, now I'm not quite done. I want to add something else because it's cute, but you know, needs something else. I'm going to lift it up a tiny bit higher so it's it's a little bit higher than halfway because I want to add something here. So there's a couple of choices. I thought I wanted, first of all, I thought maybe I want to have hello there and I've got the word there, okay? And I could put that here. Or another option would be to use, and this is a, this thanks a bunch, is a celebration set. This one here has my friend and I thought the word friend and I thought, hello friend, that's really nice. So I'm going to, do a little bit of a a little bit of a technique here for you. Very easy one. Okay, I'm putting my friend here onto a block. This is block B, if you're wondering, smallish block. And I'm going to grab my stamp and write marker in Bermuda Bay. So this is the same color as this darker cardstock. And I am going to use the the brush tip end to color in the word friend. But I'm not going to color in the word my because I just want the friend bit because I want it to say hello friend. So we're going to add that and then we're going to stamp that just like that and then I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut this out. Super, super easy. Don't even worry if it's straight. In fact, if it's crooked a little bit, it looks kind of like it's meant to be like that and that's okay. All right, so now we have hello friend like this I have actually I was going to use mini dimensionals but I have actually got some edge bits here which will fit really nicely so I'm just going to snip my edge off my dimensional this is almost an empty sheet but I'm still using it so let's pop that behind there this is a good way to use up your edge bits and let's pop that little friend right there over the corner so it pops up like that. And I'm going to call that a finished card. I know it's a really simple one today, but I loved all these strips and I thought they looked so fun. And I wanted to show you how the alphabet dies work. They're really, really cool. I think they're going to be a lot of fun because you have all your letters, like I said, doubles up of the more common letters. And then we also have numbers and some symbols as well. There's an exclamation part, uh, point and an, an ampersand. 
um, some little some colons and bits and pieces so I hope that you guys will really enjoy using these I know scrapbookers are going to love them but I think they're great for card makers too and um, I think they're a great thing alphabets are always a great thing to have in your collection all right thanks so much for joining me today um, we have a new another um, project now in the next if you watch the next video I have the link to that on my on uh, in the description below click on that to see who is the next person in the hop and see what they want fantastic things they have to show you I hope uh, I hope that you enjoyed that this month and we'll be back again next month with a new video in the in the global stamp and video hop for you have a great day bye bye